Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Friday, November the 20th, the year's 2020. Let's talk trading. It's time for the weekly wrap-up. And as you all know, these videos are for educational purposes only, and your results may differ from mine. We take a look at the weekly chart, and we can see that all but one gap filled. Dollar Canadian being stubborn filling that gap. Something maybe we'll fill next week. One other thing I want you to notice is we broke out of the previous week's high. And now we're 32 pips below it. We'll get back to that in just a moment. On the daily chart, you see we opened once again in the opening range for the year, went above it. Let's see, the opening range was call it 66, and we hit a high of 96. That was 30 pip move. And once again, I want you to look and see how these two wicks right here, how we price went up, didn't make a new high, came back down. Also note this on the opening range for the week, price dipped in and then reversed. In fact, it crossed the yearly low and then reversed above it. Now 30 pips above. I'm sorry, the uh, not yearly low, the uh, opening, uh, the yearly open right here. Yearly open, not yearly low. Once again, 31 pips above the yearly open. You see it came down. Looks like it just touched that midpoint for the day, previous day's midpoint, and bounced up. Inside bars, there's only a few on the day to trade. Maybe next week we'll get some more inside bars. Obviously, we won't have one in the pound here. But once again, an anemic day, 59 pip range. But there was still money to be made, still pips to be made. Looking at the uh, buy zone, here's the daily open. Here's the pivot below the short zone. Clear signal to short. Hit the pivot. And then some, and then returned. And you can see your buy zone trades from there. There was a couple of shorts triggered. You either scratched it or you took a stop. So something to think about is, let's say you entered right here. Price reversed on you, but you had your stop above the daily open. Price came back down and maybe gave you what? A pip? Pip and a half? And then it started backing up. If it's not moving strongly in your direction, just take the pip. Scratch the trade. There'll be others. Now, this is where things get interesting. We're back in that upper rat zone for the day. But I want you to take a look here as I scrunch the chart down. So this is Friday. One, two, three, four. So this is Monday. You see this rat zone here from Wednesday? Now, a lot of times, price likes to reverse on Wednesdays and Thursdays. You see we hit a high for the week. Upper rat zone right there. Price got into it. If you look here, and then cross below it again. So, as we like to say, look to the left. And so by, by seeing that where this upper rat zone was, the previous one, you could say you could start taking shorts above this line thinking it might pull back down. And it did. That way you could be actually making money near the upper part of the rat zone as opposed to getting in later. And you can see here, this was the previous day's rat zone. And then price fell back down through it again only to come back up. But if you look even further, you can see this is almost for the month. In fact, if you if we switch the chart here, 
you can see this was the high of the month right here and you can see how price made a new high here came back into this to this rat zone fell and right here you're in both these rat zones and price fell through that's something i mentioned a while ago about if you're in that upper rat zone for the week and or for the month So for rat traders, that's just something to keep in mind. In fact, some of the longer, there was a trader that was asking me about long-term trades or higher time frame charts or something like that. And so here, once again, if you uh, scrunch down using the H4, you can see see that movement of how the zones operate put that back to m15 for the day and you can get a clear picture of what price was doing you can see here with a compressed range of only 59 it was going back and forth between the zones So for the longer term traders or people, traders who want to trade larger time frame charts or tra trade using larger time frame charts, I should say, be a little more precise with my language. You can start looking at those weekly and monthly upper and lower rat zones or red and green rat zones and plot your trades accordingly. And to think if the pound wick on the daily is usually greater than 20, what do you think that wick is going to be greater than on a weekly basis? You can see the size of these wicks. Took out the pivot during that first candle here. We're looking at H4 on this pivot chart. And as we mentioned before, we took out today's pivot. Yesterday, we took out that missed pivot here. And then back on Monday, we took out that missed pivot. So, for the month of November, you see we have two missed pivots, September 2, July 2, and March 1, and that one probably won't get taken out this year. Wick zone, in and out, in and through, back and forth. Once again, trading these wick zones can be profitable. And looking at the range, the day 59 pip is in the one percentile. Two days ago, we had one in the 6 percentile. Compressed range, no range over 90 for the week, let alone 100. It's like, what happened to the pound this week? Very, very anemic trading. But on the daily, you can see high minus previous high was 18 yesterday we didn't get above it but these are some nice daily breakouts and then on the previous low when that broke out yesterday 44 pip run so taking those daily 
Previous day high low breakouts, simple horizontal line trade, traders that can't sit there and, and monitor the trade. You could put that trade on as a pending order and then you could have your TP and stop loss set, take profit and stop loss set in advance. And just on a one of the simple trading screens here, you can see we had a two ball at the 80 line reversing off of that low. Could have picked up a few pips. Here on the simple price action trading screen, once again, opened above the 90 red H1 candle at the line short last hour. This hour, you can see it touched the 80, actually broke it by a point. If you took that trade, you would have been going long in the rat zone, which is something I don't like to do, in the red rat zone, something I don't like to do. So right now you'd be looking at a drawdown. You could have taken the previous break of the low and you'd be sitting in the trade right now at about break even. Maybe actually if you took that short, you'd be down a pip or so. Low was 75, so you'd be down a pip if you hadn't already punched out. And as I say, that price just dropped, you'd be in <laughs> point profit. So even on a uh, compressed range day like today, there were still opportunities to pick up five and 10 pips off of the H trading, you know, using the H1 chart, simple horizontal line cross at the Walmart lines or previous hours high and low. And one thing that I've been doing is I've shifted down the M5 and I look to do uh, continuation trades here where you get a price turn, red followed by green, if you go long, also, you can consider this a rat reversal type trade and take it off of the five minute chart, as you can see. But you have to let that two bar pattern flip flop close and then take it in the direction of that last candle. So, here, green, red. So, you look to go short right there. Here, red, green, you look to go long right there. And sometimes you get a few pips and sometimes you only get a couple. So right here, once again, taking that trade, there were pips to be had. Are you going to win each and every time? No, you're not going to win each and every time. You will be stopped out or you will have to scratch some of those trades. But... If you do it over the long haul, you should be able to walk away with a profit. And just remember, fellow traders, these videos are for educational purposes only, and your results may differ from mine. Now, you, you would ask me, would you get out after this? Well, you just have to see what price action is doing. And actually, when you're in this profit, maybe you're up a pip or two. This is the hardest this is the gut check trade right here. Can you stay in that trade and let that candle close? You just have to see, is it backing up on you or is it going in your direction? And trust me, many, many times it'll back up. You'll punch out only to see it go the other way. And you'll just get a feel for whether or not you stick in it. That's why you want to trade the same pair day after day. So you, you'll develop that seat time, that sense of what it's going to do. Will you be right every time? No, but it will definitely help you. So fellow traders, that's the weekly wrap up. I hope you had a profitable week and a fun, safe weekend. Just remember, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So drain the banks. This is the rumpled one over and out.